Hello everyone! On this video we are going to talk about snapping on Graphic Designer. Snapping is a feature that assists you on placing and aligning objects through the canvas. It can be enabled here on the toolbar. When you drag an object, as you approach a position of alignment with another object or the page, the object will snap to the alignment position, and snapping guidelines will indicate the alignment position being used. When clicking this arrow right next to the snap icon, you see the snapping options, and here you can choose which ones to leave on when snapping is enabled. The first option, Use Snapping, enables or disables the use of snapping. It's the same as clicking on the icon. The second option is Snap Zones. This option will consider snapping only to the side of the element nearest to the cursor. For example, here, you can see that only the side being dragged is activating the snapping guidelines. The next option is Snap to Grid. With this setting on and the grid showing, objects, tools and selections will snap to the grid lines. The next option is Snap to Guidelines. With this option enabled, objects will snap to visible guidelines on the canvas. Another option is Snap to Full Pixels. When this option is disabled, the positioning of the element on the X and Y axis can be with decimal numbers. And when you enable it, the positioning of the objects will snap to full pixels, without decimals. This is especially useful in UI and icon design. The next one is Snap to Anchor Points, which allows snapping to anchor points of paths. The next option is Snap to Shapes, allowing the snapping to bounding boxes, sides or center of other shapes. The last snapping option is Snap to Page, allowing the boundaries of the page to be points of snapping. The other options here on this dropdown are related to the canvas, Show Grid, Show Guidelines and Show Symbols Labels. Holding Ctrl or Command temporarily disables snapping, which allows you to move objects around freely without the need to disable snapping on the toolbar. That's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next tutorial!